Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about multiplication word problems. When we multiply or divide, we will be using the GET strategy. G stands for the number of groups. E stands for number of objects in each group. T stands for total number of objects. Since we're focusing on multiplication and we need to find the total, we know we have to multiply. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. Mrs. Muneer has six flower pots. There are nine hearts in each flower pot. How many hearts are there? Let's go ahead and make our problem solving model. In our problem solving model, we have the answer stem, we have the important information, we have a picture model, and we have equation and solve work. The answer stem restates the question. Let's go ahead and read the question. How many hearts are there? Our answer stem is, there are blank hearts. The key information is, there are six flower pots and there are nine hearts in each pot. When you draw out your get, the number of groups is the six flower pots. Each is the total number in each flower pot. In this case, there are nine hearts in each flower pot. And we need to find the total number of hearts. If you notice something on the get strategy, it's the E which is each, and the T, which is the total, always match. There are nine hearts in each flower pot. We need to find out how many hearts are there. If you would like to draw this out, your six flower pots would be six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are nine hearts in each square. You could write the number nine, or you could draw nine circles or hearts or stars in each of the squares. Our equation is six times nine. We need to multiply to find the total. Six times nine is 54. There are 54 hearts. Let's look at example number one. Mrs. Munir walks three miles each day. How many miles does she walk in seven days? Again, to start off, we will go ahead and make our problem solving model. Let's read the question. How many miles does she walk in seven days? Our answer stem is, Mrs. Munir walks blank miles. Our important information is, there are seven days and she walks three miles each day. Seven days is the groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and I went ahead and I put three miles in each box. You can go ahead and put circles or stars or any shape. So our equation is seven times three equals 21. Mrs. Munir walks 21 miles. Let's try another example. Mrs. Munir records five videos. Each video is seven minutes long. What is the total number of minutes of all videos? Try to pause the video and create your problem solving model. Let's go ahead and look at our answer stem. Our answer stem basically restates the question. The question is, what is the total number of minutes of all the videos? Our answer stem is, the videos are blank minutes long. What are the key facts? So we know that there are five videos and each one is seven minutes long. We're gonna go ahead and write our get. We have the groups are five videos. Each one is seven minutes long. We need to find the total number of minutes. We're gonna go ahead and have five squares for the five videos. And we're putting seven in each square. And our equation is five times seven. We go ahead and multiply and the answer is 35. The videos are 35 minutes long. Can you try this example by yourself? Mrs. Munir reads six pages a night. It takes her two minutes to read each page. How many minutes does Mrs. Munir read? Here are the answers. Our answer stem is Mrs. Munir reads for blank minutes. Our important facts are there are six pages. She reads two minutes each page. Our get is the group is six pages each page is read for two minutes, we need to go ahead and find the total number of minutes. So we're going to draw six groups for the six pages. Each page is two minutes long. And our equation is six times two. Six times two is twelve. Mrs. Munir reads for 12 minutes. Here are some more examples you can try. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a great day.